Hello everyone, welcome back again. I am Sakshi Kishirwal and I am Math Expert in Ask IITM. So today we'll be doing the topic which is, uh, uh, we can say like, if it not, this is the part which will be like involved in your competition, right? So we have been studying about like, to here we'll be dealing with the like press pyramid and like the rate of flow of like these type of the questions will be doing it right so uh, this is like mostly uh, please understand everything very clearly so let's start with this yes let's start with this okay i was kind of serious so let's start with this so this is the last topic this is basically the last uh, uh, lecture for the surface area and volume this is the last lecture for surface area just a second Right, this is the last lecture for the surface area and volume. And today we'll be dealing with the two topics that is first is what prism and second is what pyramid and embankment and flow rate related problems, right? So this is what we are going to deal with. And you just see this is like, uh, this will help you. Like embankment flow of rate is like basically when, uh, let's take a simple example. When you fill, like there's a water tank in everyone's house. So yes, when uh, like a machine pumps the water from the, gr the ground to the top of it. So that is what we are going to learn today, right? So let's start. What are the prism and what are the pyramids, right? So prism, we have already studied. Prism is a water three-dimensional polyhedron. We have studied this in class eight in the chapter name that is visualizing solid shape, right? So what is a prism? Prism is a three-dimensional. It's a three-dimensional figure or a polyhedron. Here we see that the top and the bottom are what? The two congruent figures. The top and the bottoms are always the two congruent figures and the side faces. The side faces are always what beta? It is a parallelogram or a rectangle, right? So you see that the books which we use, right? Any kind of the books which we use is what basically a prism, yes or no? Or you see that the image over here, you see that the top and the bottom is like basically a what? A common figures and the side faces are what? A rectangle or maybe any kind of parallelogram. It can be square, it can be rhombus, it can be a parallelogram, right? And you see the toggle on top these, right? So these are what beta? Uh, like prism also, right? And pyramids are the solid figure base, base of like this. Mm -hmm. Pyramids are the solid figures. Base of the pyramid is a polygon. Lateral faces are always a triangle. So if you see that this is a pyramid, right? So everyone have like learned about what is a pyramid. We have done this in the class eight again itself. So we say that the base can be what? Any kind of a polygon. It can be any kind. So the minimum polygon can be what? A triangle polygon. Like it's a triangle of base. And you can change the bases. It can be square. It can be rectangle. It can be pentagon. It can be hexagon. It can be octagon. It can be a polygon of what? Beta 12 sides also, right? So both the prism and pyramids are the three dimensional solids that have the flat faces and the base. But a prism have two identical base. Whereas a pyramid has only a one base, right? So prism is having like this top and the bottom. And the pyramid will have only the base, right? And the side faces will be what beta triangle, right? So let's do the what is a prism, right? So prism is basically what? A prism is a three-dimensional solid that has two identical base. So you see that this is the base, this is one base, and this is the other base, right? You see that two identical base and rectangular or a parallelogram shape faces and the same and faces and the same cross section like you see that these are what better now when you're just going to chop it yeah what are the cross section means what you just chop it you will see that you will just find a polygon right so what happened if you're going to just chop this this is what a triangular prism yes or no so when you're going to cut it with a knife you will get one rectangle you will get one triangle or not you will just get one triangle when you're going to cut this what you're going to get you will get just one a pentagon or not Yes, because this is what a pentagonal prism, right? What are the examples of the prism? The base of the the base, the base of the shape of the prism is we have a triangular prism, square prism, rectangular prism, pentagonal prism, hexagonal prism. As you change the shape, as you change the shape of the bases, like the top and the bottom, you will see that it is a word beta. It's it's its name is given accordingly. Now, if the base is a polygon, like like I say of a side like uh, 10. So we say this as a decagon prism, that decagonal prism, the base and the top, the top and the bottom row, both are what beta congruent figures and it is having a 10 side. So we say this as what beta decagonal prism, right? And we have learned this and we can say like this also, I'll give you one simple example. If I take this single sheet of paper, right? I'll take just single sheet, right? So if I take a just single sheet of paper, this is what a rectangle, right? Now what happened if I just pile it up, 
if I just pile it up with like 10, 20 or 50 sheets, can you see that you have increased the height? Yes or no? So can I say that crisp is basically formed when you have a polygon and you have given the height? It means what you have just won, this was a two-dimensional figure and then you have given the height. So we say that it is a what? A three-dimensional figure form and this three-dimensional figure is what beta? A prism, right? So prism, basically we say a cuboid and a cube is again a prism. So first we should be studying what is a prism and then we'll be, we should be studying about what is a cube and cuboid, right? So that is about it. So we see that what are the types of the prism? Here the base is what? Here the base is, here the base is what beta? A rectangle, right? So we say this is a triangular prism. Here the base is what a square. So this is what a square prism. And then you have given the height, right? And this is the height, right? This is the height. Now, if you see that the base is what a pentagon, the base is what beta pentagon. So we say this as a pentagonal prism, and this one is what beta height, right? Now, if you see that the base is what you can just take the top and the bottom because if you see the cuboid, you can take it from the any end, it will be a what rectangle only. So, if you take a base over here, this is your base, right? And if you take this as a base, I should change, right? If you take this as a base, this is what again, a like triangle, rectangle, and a rectangle, and the side faces are what beta, the like rectangle. So, this is what your height, right? Now the top is what beta hexagon, right? It is what hexagon. It is not necessary. The figure has to be what a regular one. It can be any, like if I made a figure like this, 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 and you have given the height to it, this figure, right? Is this a polygon? Yes, this is a polygon. And you have given the height of this polygon because I'm very bad at drawing. So try to understand. So if I would have given the polygon like this figure and this, 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 and if you have joined it at the down, so this is going to be what? Again, this is going to be a what beta? A prism. You see that how many sides I have given? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So this will be what beta? Octagonal prism, but this is not a regular octagonal prism, but this is an octagonal prism, right? So generally, if you take a prism, which is like uh, like the top and the bottom, like the base, the top and the bottom are like are like are like perpendicular to the base, right? If you're going to take this, it's going to be perpendicular, right? Sometimes you see that it's going to be a little bit slanting, but yes, it's like this. We don't talk about the oblique. We talk about the like a right triangular, like a right triangular prism, right? So you see that over here, it is what beta octagonal prism because it is what eight-sided polygon, right? So this is what is known as what octagonal prism, right? So now let's talk about the surface area of the press. So as we know, what is a surface? As I told you, if you're going to take the base and increase the height, it will be what? A surface area. So surface area means what? All the part which you can physically touch, right? Let's talk about this press. So it will be what? You can talk about the like the surface area. The surface area will be what? If you think in other way, right? So surface area will be how much? Surface area is equals to how much beta? Surface area will be equals to what? Two times the base area, right? This is your base area. Right or not? Two times the base area plus, plus, plus how many like lateral faces is equals to what beta? Number of what? Lateral faces. We can say that number of the sides, your number of sides, your number of lateral faces, like the number of lateral faces area. Yeah, we can say that area of the, that is, we can say like this, area of the lateral faces, right? Plus the area of, area of lateral faces lateral faces yeah that is total number of that is area of area of total number of lateral faces right so we can say like this you can count one by one also and you can just do the formula how the formula works on it right so what does the formula says you know what is an area of a triangle area of triangle is what half into base into height and we take generally the prism which we deal in a like a Class 9th or 10th level, we take that the prism is basically what are like a rectangle that lateral faces are what beta, a rectangle or a square. Generally, we take that. We don't take on like a hex, like a parallelogram or rhombus, but we generally take which is having a what a rectangle or a rhombus, right? So you say that this area. Now let us talk about the prism. Prism and how many faces it have five faces, right? Faces will be how much beta? Five faces. Base area will be how there will be two base area. So two base area, and there will be three sides. This is side one, this is side two, and the base like down will be three sides. So all of them will be having the same area that is L plus B or not. So can I say that its area is equals to one? See what happened, it changes. You have to just think a little bit more. 
if you forget the formula no worries the formula is always a temporary but the point is that you understand well so area is equals to what two times the base area yes or no two times the base area for triangular prism this is for triangular prism i for i'm writing for triangular prism right for triangular prism right plus three times the area of what beta area of area of rectangle can i say that yes or no because area of rectangle now how we can find it out you see that the height this is the height oh, hold on yeah this is your height right yeah this is your height right this is your height so the length of the rectangle will be what the length of the rectangle is going to be this side yes or no yes so can i say that this area that's area 1 is equals to what this length this is l this is like i'll say this length a this is as b and this as c so can i say that area 1 will be equals to what beta area 1 is equals to what a into h yes or no this is the height now area 2 is equals to what beta b into h yes or no and area c area 3 is equals to what beta c into h or not so if i'm going to add all of them that is area 1 i'm writing it over here area 1 plus area 2 plus area 3 is equals to how much beta if you see this it is equals to what h is common can i write this as a plus b plus c and a plus b plus c is equals to what h into what beta base perimeter yes or no this is what base perimeter base perimeter right so here we derive the formula what is the surface area of the prism in general right either in general you can find it out or either you can just find it out by your like uh, by thinking process like if you can imagine and give the thinking process so surface area of a prism is what two times the base area right there will be top and the bottom this is for sure two times the base area plus the base perimeter into the height if it is a pentagonal prism so it will be what there will be five sides so it will be what base area into like five times into the height yes or no so please write it down this formula and if you have any doubt please ask it regarding it right now what is a volume of a prism volume of a prism as i said you have one a polygon and given the height so that is very simple so it will be what base area into the height or not because that's the base area and you're increasing the number of the what sheets and sheets and sheets and sheets you're increasing the number of the sheets means you have given the height so that is very simple so we say that the volume of the prism is equals to what beta base area into what beta height that's it base area into height that's it now for example if you want to find the volume of a square prism now base is what a square prism and square prism is basically a what a cuboid so what is an area of a cuboid area of a cuboid will be what you must know the area of the square that is a into a then the volume can be calculated as volume that the volume of the square is equals to what area of a square into height right so area of a square means what s square into h cubic units right so s is what the side of the square right so please write it down beta what is the so we have learned about the surface area of the prism surface area of the prism is what beta two times the base area plus the perimeter into the height right base perimeter into the height and what is the volume of the prism the volume of the prism is what beta base area into height right now let's coming to the question what the question says over here mm hmm it says that find the volume of a triangular prism whose area its area is like whose base area it should be mentioned that whose base area is 60 cm square and the height is this so this is an easy right so you have to find for a triangular prism or any prism any prism you have to find the volume so for volume of prism is equals to how much beta volume of prism is equals to how much beta base area into height right base area into height right so what is the height height is how much beta the height is already given which is equals to 7 and base area is how much base area is equals to how much beta 60 so 60 into what 7 which is equals to what 420 cm cube that's it that's your answer write it down beta
Now, coming to the solution is already written, right? Now, coming to the question number two. What's the question number two says? Find the height of the square prism. Now, base is what? Beta, a square prism, right? So, it is what? Basically, a cube, right? And whose volume is how much, beta? Whose volume is how much? It's like 360 centimeter cube, right? And the base area is how much, beta? 20, 30, 60 centimeter cube. So, we know that the volume doesn't matter which type of the prism. You know that its base area. You should know its height. That's it. Right, so the volume of the like what it's given the base uh, base area is given how much beta? The base area is how much? 60 centimeter square, right? Volume is how much? Volume is equals to how much beta? 360 centimeter cube. And you have to find the what beta? Height. Height is how much? This is your height, right? So can I write this as H? So volume is equals to how much? Volume is equals to how much? Base area into height, right? So base area into height is what beta 360 into what 60 into height. So H is equals to you can say directly it's what six centimeter. That's it. That's your answer. Write it down beta. Okay, now coming to the next topic. What's the next topic? It's it's pyramid, right? What is a pyramid, right? So you just see that a pyramid is what? Have you seen the pyramid of Giza? You have seen like this is like this. It's always like this, right? Like the top of this. So pyramid is defined as the three-dimensional structure encompassing a polygon as its base. It can be any base, right? You must have heard about the great pyramid of Giza, which is a structure is same as the same concept, right? This is the same concept. Every corner of this structure is linked with to a simple single apex. Like if you see that at the base, you it's like they're going to meet at the single point. Yes or no, everyone is going to meet at the single point, right? Which makes it appear at a distinct shape. That's why it's look like a different, right? The edges of the each base and its top make a triangle, right? So every edge is going to make at the top is what? A triangle. So this lateral is what? Always a triangle. Like you take all the triangles and just mix it up, right? And to put it at the end. Now, if you see that, <clears throat> if you see that, if the base is a what? A triangle, then it is said to be a what? Triangular pyramid. If the base is what? A square, then we say this as a square pyramid, right? And if the base is what? A pentagon, then we take as a pentagonal pyramid, right? And if the base is what hexagon, we say at a hexagon pyramid, right? If you talk about the number of the faces of a pentagonal pyramid, so how many number of the faces it will have? The faces will be how much beta? One at the entire bottom and the side will have five. So it will have six faces. Yes, we know read right now, we know, need to know how many faces it will have. That's all because we have to find the area and the volume that we are concerned about, right? So how are you going to find the area and the volume, right? So what is the surface area? First, you should know one thing that here there are two terminologies which you should be aware of it. What is the height? There, you know, in the prism, the pyramid is like where you have increased the height. Now, height is where this is like apex, right? This one is what beta apex, right? From the apex and from the midpoint, like from the midpoint of this two triangle, like on the base, right? The center, you say that the center of the triangle, from this, if you're going to drop a perpendicular, that is the height, right? On the center of the prism, right? If you're going to drop a perpendicular, or we can say from the apex, if you're going to drop a 90 degree, if not the center, if this is a right, like if this is a regular polygon, that it will work. Let us suppose if this is not a regular polygon, then it will be what? It means what apex is only what? What is an height from an apex? If you drop a perpendicular to the base, that is what is the height, right? That is height is basically what you draw a perpendicular from the apex, that's the height. Now, one more thing. What is a slant height? Slant height is basically that is like the side faces are what? Triangle? Yes or no? The side faces are what? Triangle. So the triangle is what? If you're going to take the midpoint of the sides, like if you're going to, if you have taken this side, right? So if you're going to take the midpoint of the side and you draw a 90 degree, because if you take a, like, if you're going to make a pyramid, it is for sure that the triangles are going to be in isosceles because they have to join. The base can be an irregular polygon that can work, but the side which is going to jo join all the triangles that has to be isosceles, otherwise it's not going to join, right? So this is going to be an isosceles and here, if you see this, uh, 
not an isosceles also, but it's going to be like you have to just make in such way also, right? So yes, it has to be isosceles. The triangles have to be isosceles to make in such way, right? Otherwise, it won't be joint, right? It won't work. So what is a slant height? Slant height is by basically if you take a triangle, if you take one of the side face of the triangle, and from that triangle you join this line, which is perpendicular and which is like which is the midpoint of the side also. This line is known as what. With this line is known as what with a slant height, right? This line is known as what with a slant height, right? And <clears throat> now over here, if you see this, and one more thing you should know about it that <clears throat> if you're going to join the slant height, see over here, if you're going to join the slant height, if you see this entirely, the slant height, and this is going to be a midpoint. So this is going to be a what? A right angle triangle, which I have just made right now. This is going to be a what? A right angle triangle. And if this is a regular, if you say this is square, so we take, we generally take a like a regular polygon. Okay, we generally take this as a what a regular polygon, not for a not regular polygons, we are not defining. We are defining this basically, like we derive this. Uh, we'll do the questions on a regular polygons, right? So you just see this. This is going to be a if this is going to be a regular polygon, so this is going to be what like 90 degree, right? Or not. <clears throat> So over here, if you see, to find the surface area and the volume of the pyramid, some formulas can be used. The surface area of the pyramid will be what? If you talk about the surface area, it will be what? The base area plus the number of the areas of the triangle, right? So how you're going to make the generalization of it? So it's going to be what? Base area. Now, what will be the area of one triangle? Area of one triangle, let us suppose the side is what? A. This side is what? A. Or let's suppose this is B or A, whatever, right? So it's going to be what? Half into A into H. Yes or no, that's the slant height. Slant height means I'll write slant height, right? Slant height. So if you're going to add for all the triangles, this, this, this triangles also, right? So after all adding all these things, you will get half into perimeter into what? With a slant height, right? Now, what is the volume? Volume is like this because the derivation of the volume is a little bit different, right? Here the limits is used. So the area of the volume, like basically the volume of the pyramid is given by one by three, the base area into height. That you have to memorize it, right? Here the derivation, here we cannot give the derivation right now, okay? So what are the formulas we have got? Surface area is equals to what beta base area plus half the perimeter into slant height and Plus, and the volume is equals to what beta one by three into base area into height. It says that the base area is the area of the base of the pyramid, which vary with the basis of its type. If you take the different types of the bases, its area also varies, right? So you have to know like the area of a square, you know, if you know, you know the area of a triangle, but when there is area of a pentagon, when there is an area of an hexagon, you should know how to find the area of the base, right? So the different, different formulas given. So you should know the formulas to find it out, right? Okay. Okay, let's coming to the formula, right? Like, let's do the question. The base of a right pyramid of a square is what? Beta 22 centimeter, 24 centimeter. The base is what? This is 24 centimeters. So this is a square, right? All the sides are what? Square. So we say square pyramid. We say a pentagon. We generally, generally deal with like right now, we deal with the ninth standard with the regular one, right? Not with the non-regular Okay, and the height is what? Height is basically which you have dropped from the apex to the like the base, right? When you have dropped to the apex to the base, this is going to be a 90 degree, right or not? Yes. And if you're going to join this point, so this is going to be what? This side and this length will be how much? This is going to be 12 centimeter and this is going to be what? Beta 12 centimeter, right? And the height is how much? Beta 16 centimeter. So what is the slant height? If you talk about the slant height, it's going to be what? Now I'm just naming this triangle as O, P, and Q, right? So O, P, Q is what? First of all, O, P, Q is what? Right angle triangle? Right angle triangle? Right or not? Right angle triangle. So can I say that slant height, the first part, if I want to solve it, so it is going to what beta? O, P, that's O, Q is what? A slant height. So O, Q square is equals to what? O, P square plus P, Q square, right or not? Yes or no? And P, Q, what will be the value of the P, Q? Beta, if it's going to join on the middle of it, so this point is going to lie on the midpoint of this part or not, for the square. So this is going to be what? Well, this is PQ will be also what 12 or not? 
because if you take a square and if you're going to drop a perpendicular from the apex it's going to be on the like the center and the midpoint of the both sides right so this is going to be what beta 12 right so it's going to be what oq square is equals to what <laughs> 16 square plus 12 square. So OQ square is equals to what? We have 140, like this is 256. This is what? 256 plus 144, which is equals to what? OQ square is equals to what? 400 and OQ is equals to what? Beta 20. That's your first thing. That is the slant. You got the first answer. Now, what is the area? What is the total surface area? So total surface area will be how much beta? The total surface area is equals to what? Base area plus half times the base perimeter into I right or not, right? So if you see what is the second part, what is a uh, total area? Total area is equals to how much beta? Total area is equals to what? Base area plus 1 by 2 into base perimeter into height, right or not? So base area is what? 24 into 24 because it's a square plus 1 by 2 into base area. Base area is how much? Base perimeter is equals to what? 24 into 4, right or not? because it's 24, the side is what, 24, so its perimeter is going to be 24, and height is what, 16. So do the calculation, so this is one, and this is two, so it is what, beta 576 plus 48 into 16, so just, if you're going to solve it out, you will get the answer as what, 1, 5, it's going to be what, beta 1, 5, 3, 6 centimeters square, that's it. Now, coming to the third part. What is your volume? It says about what is your volume. So volume is what beta? 1 by 3 into base area into height. That's it. So volume is equals to how much beta? Volume is equals to 1 by 3 into base area into height, right or not. So which is equals to how much? 1 by 3. Base area is how much beta? 12 into, like it's 24, not 12. It's 24 into 24 into height is what? 16, right? You just solve it. So this is going to be 8. Now, after solving this thing, you will get your answer as equals to what? 3072 oh, yeah. centimeter cube. That's it. <sighs> Write it down, Bita. Now, it's already written. It's like, now let's solve the next question. What the question says over here, it says that the embankment and flow rated related problem. So what you have to see, like if you're going to dug out, like let's suppose you are going to dug out like a, like a dug up like earth, right? If you're going to dug out the, like the mud, okay, from the ground. And if you're just going to put it and make it like, uh, it is, like you make a cuboid of that block, right? So, what is the like the height or what will be the volume of that cuboid? If I say what is the volume of that cuboid? So the volume of that cuboid will be what is equals to the volume of the cylinder which you have been dug out in from the earth is in the shape of what cylinder, right? So we have to follow that the volume remains the same. So this is what we have to follow over here. So if you see this, what is the question? A well whose diameter is what beta seven centimeters. So this is a well. Like if you see this, this is a well has been dug out twenty two point. 22.5 meter deep and the earth dug out is used to form an embankment. Embankment means what the outer boundary, right? You see that this is what an embankment is like. You see this, this is an embankment just outside this, this thing, right? Outside this well, well right? The, on the top of it. You have seen like when the when there is a well, you just make a like a top of it like this. Yes or no? Embankment, right? So if the height of the embankment is what beta 1.5 meter, find the width of the embankment. So the width of the embankment will be how much beta? The, this is the width, right or not? This is the width. So what I'm going to take. Oh, I'm just going to take it right. So this is going to be what beta? This is the width, right or not? So width is basically, now this is, if you just see that the embankment which you have made is what? A concentric, uh, concentric, we can say that is a hollow cylinder, yes or no? So if you just give a close observation that the volume of the, the volume of the uh, well is equals to the what? Volume of the what? Hollow cylinder, yes or no? We can say like this also. We can say like this, these are what beta, the hollow cylinders, right? So what are the things we have over here? So what I'm going to take the radius, that's the small radius, that's the radius of a well, right? 
radius of well. So radius of well is equals to how much meter? Diameter is seven, so it is going to be what seven point two meter, right? And the height is how much? The height of well, the height of well is how much meter? The height of well is equals to what twenty two point five meter, right? So what will be the volume? This is the volume of the mud which you will be digging out, right or not? So its volume is equals to how much? So I name this as R, and this is as what edge? So it's going to be what volume of? I'll write like this. <laughs> Volume of well, right? So volume of well is equals to what? Beta pi r square into h. I'm writing like this. Meanwhile, now we have to make an embankment. So let us suppose this is going to be a concentric circle. So I'm writing this radius r initially, right? So later on, what will be the thickness? Thickness will be what? Capital R minus a small r, right or not? So thickness is going to be how much? Beta thickness is going to be what? Beta capital R minus of small r, right? So what is the uh, volume of the embankment? So volume of embankment looks like a what? Beta hollow, so hollow cylinder, right or not? So it's going to be what? Volume of embankment, right? Embankment. So it's going to be what? Beta. It's a hollow cylinder. So hollow cylinder means what? Pi of capital R square h. H is what? Beta. Here the height is what? The height of the embankment is what 1.5, right or not? So can I write this as 1.5 minus pi of small square into 1.5? And these two volumes are what beta equal? So right now, why I have not written like I have not calculated the value because if you're going to equate these two things, you will see that pi and pi what cancel out. So this is what the catch rule. So you can eliminate the pi and cancel out the pi. So the volume of well. Is equals to what volume of embankment? Which is equals to what beta pi r square into h. So uh, first I'll write like this is equals to what pi. If I take pi common, so it will be what r square minus of r square into one point five, right? So you see that this and this cancels out, right? So what is r value over there? That is equals to what seven by two the whole square into h. H is what twenty two point five. And r square is how much? Uh, this is going to be what? <clears throat> this is r square minus of what beta? Seven point two ka whole square, and then you will see this is as one point five, right? Yes or no? Now what you do? You just do on solving the problem. So what I'm going to do? So this is what seven point two ka whole square into like if you're going to just transpose this, so this is going to be what two point five, twenty two point five. Plus one point five is equals to what r square into one point five, right or not? So you're going to add it seven point two the whole square, and this is going to be what twenty four, right? Twenty four divided by what one point five is equals to what r square, right or not? Yes. So you already have this one square. So just do the cancellation. So you just see this. This is going to be what three za, and this is going to be what uh, mm, this is going to be uh, four. Eight and this you see this is one and this is sixteen right so r is equals to how much beta seven into two into four so you see this this and this cancel so r is equals to how much beta forty right or not so thickness is how much beta thickness is equals to how much fourteen minus of what seven point two that is three point five which is equals to what ten point five centimeter yeah meter what what was the question it was in the meter right so this is your answer write it down beta. Done ready? Okay. Now let's coming to the solution is already written. You can just see. Now what's the next question? It says that a cylindrical pipe. Now this is the question comes when you are going to fill a tank, right? Here you have to just understand that thing, this thing that. Uh, and I think so. You know one thing that one centimeter cube is equals to what? Beta one ml, right or not? So can I say that thousand centimeter cube is equals to what? Beta one liter, right or not? Yes. So this is how. So what happened if this is a pipe, right? This is a pipe, and it is be like flowing into a what? A tank, right or no? 
a water is flowing so if the water is flowing through a tank then if a like a pipe this is a pipe right if the water is flowing through the pipe this big is a pipe now how much water has been flowed in a minute or we say in a second or in a like hour we say so what is the length we take out the length if you know the speed of the water we can find the length of this thing or not like it's flowing it's flowing it's flowing so it says that a cylindrical pipe has a inner diameter so this is what it is shown this diameter is what beta 7 right and the water flows through the rate of 192.5 liter per minute find the rate of the flow in the kilometer per hour right so this is important so let us suppose this big is the pipe right it says that the water is flowing so ek minute mein it says that one minute mein how much length of the water is going in the bucket it's going 1.5 one point 100 sorry 192.5 liter of water goes in it or not so this is what this is basically the volume or not this is the volume so ek minute mein it says that in one minute how much water has been gone into the bucket it's like 190 192.5 liter of water has been gone into the bucket right so what is it's given <coughs> you have to find the rate of the flow right so it says that over here if you see it says that the radius is equals to how much meter the radius is equals to what 7.2 cm right the volume is already given so you have to find the rate of the flow you have to find the speed right so it says that 3.5 cm it's already given right now it says that volume of the water which has been flowing right volume of water in one minute in 1 minute is how much meter it's equals to 1 minute is equals to 192.5 liter so i have to convert this into what <clears throat> it says that in 1 hour so 1 hour mein kitna pani how much water will go in the bucket right or not 1 minute mein this much liter of water is going so you need to know how much like how much uh, like uh, it's going inside right so why you have to take it out so first what it says that in 1 minute if i write One minute may it is going to because this is in the centimeter, so I have to write this into centimeter cube. So one hundred ninety two point five into what beta one thousand centimeter cube, right? So it says that in per hour. So let's talk about per hour, which is equals to what beta sixty minute, right? So volume of the water which has been flowing, which is equals to what beta one hundred ninety two point five into one thousand into sixty centimeter cube, right or not? now this volume of the water is being flowing through what it has been flown through what a pipe or not like pipe is what it's in the shape of a cylinder right or not so the volume of the cylinder is equals to what beta volume of this right or not yes so over here let us suppose this is the pipe and the water is flowing through this right so it says that in 1 minute it is flowing in 1 minute it's draining out this much water right so you want to find the height ki in 1 hour how much what will be the height that is what will be the length of the pipe that ek in ek ghante mein that much water will be drained out right or not you have to find the height of the pipe yes or no you don't know what is the height of the pipe so that it is draining out this much liter of water so we can say that the volume of cylinder is equals to what beta volume of cylinder is equals to what beta volume of water right or not volume of water right or not so volume of cylinder is equals to what volume of cylinder is equals to what pi r square is what beta 7 by 2 ka whole square right into height that is what you have to find it out right the rate of flow it says that find the rate of flow that is what it says so it says that h is equals to what that's the h and it says that 192.5 into 60 into what beta 1000 right mm -hmm. if you do the calculation the h is going to be what because <laughs> it says uh over here it's going to be how much beta i had the answer it's like 3 it's 3000 um 3000 cm right so if you see this so h is equals to what beta 3 km right 3 km and because it is in the hour we have calculated this for 1 minute so h is going to be what km per hour or not or this is going to be centimeter per hour or not because when you have written this this was equals to what the rate of the flow of water is what 60 this is the volume right or not so over if you see this because you have taken out in 1 hour like 1 hour this is what the rate is right <clears throat> right now coming to this is answer is written now let's coming to the next question the well of the diameter is like uh, now this is the same question which we have done the well of a diameter is 3 meter as is is dug 14 meter deep 
40 meter deep, right? The earth taken out of it has been spread evenly. Again, it's evenly around it in the shape of a circular ring of the width. Now, width is given. When the width is given, you know both the radius. That's the inner radius. What is your inner radius? That's the same figure. Inner radius is equals to how much better? 3.2 meter. Outer radius is going to be how much better? Outer radius is going to be how much? It's going to be what? 3.2 plus 4, which is equals to what? 5.5 meter, right? To form a find the height of the embankment. In the first question, what we did, we found out the width. So that's the same. So the volume of cylinder, that's the same. The volume of cylinder is equals to what? Beta volume of embankment. Right or not? So what is the volume of cylinder? It will be what? Pi into 3 by 2 r square into h. It's 12, 14. And it's equals to volume of embankment. It's going to be what? Hollow cylinder. So it is what? Pi into what? 5.5 square minus of 1.5 square into h. This is what you have to find. That's the height of the embankment. You see that this and this cancels out, right? So it's going to be what? Uh, 1.5 square into 14 is equals to what? If you square a square plus b square, so 5.5 plus 1.5 is equals to what? 7. If you're going to subtract, this is going to be what? Beta 4 into h, right? So you just do the cancellation. So this is 1 and this is 2 and this is 1 and this is like 2. So it's like 1.5 by 2 into 1.5 into 2. So that's the h. So h is equals to what? That's 2.25. <coughs> it's divided out. Uh, you have the answer. So H is equals to what beta? Um, 1.5 is equals to 2.25 divided by 2. And then just you solve it out. This and this. So it's going to be what beta? 9 by 8, right or not? So 9 by 8 is equals to H. This is your answer, right? So write it down beta this thing. Now, these are the practice question. I'll do the first question for you. And these two are for your homework, right? I'll do this. These are the two same questions. So I'll do the first one because it's a little bit different, right? So what is the question number one says? It says that the water is flowing at the rate of three kilometer per hour through a circular pipe of a 20 centimeter internal internal into a circular cistern of a diameter of 10 meter and width height of depth is of what, 2 meter, in how much time will the system will fall? So this is like a pipe, right? And the water is flowing into a what? A cylinder, right? Or not? This is flowing into the cylinder. So what happened? It says that the water is flowing through height means what? One hour may, it's giving three kilometer distance it's traveling. So that is what? The height of the pipe in one hour or not? Yes or no? And it's, it's, Diameter is how much beta? 20 centimeters. So can I say that the volume of this pipe is equals to what beta? The volume of this thing. So first you see that here there this rate is given. So what happened when you have to just balance out the units? Kilometer per hour. So you have to remove this hour thing or not from here. So that's like divide by 2. Like divide into T. Multiply by T. So can I say that uh, the height of the pipe? We can say that height of pipe in one hour, we can say that in 60 minutes is how much meter? 3000 meter. Kilometer is like meter because everything is in meter, meter. So we'll go with the meter, right? So one minute may, how much distance is traveling? It's traveling what? 3000 meter divided by 60. Yes or no? This is the height. Now, the pipe, the height of the pipe is in the terms of what beta? It's like kilometer per hour or not, right? And what is the diameter? Radius is equals to how much? The radius is equals to what? 10 centimeter, which is equals to what? 1 by 10 meter, right? So now it's flowing into the system. This system height is what beta? 2 meter. And the radius is how much? Like 5 meter, right or not? So we can say that the volume of this, volume of this, pipe that's it's flowing through this pipe into the time is equals to what volume of the water flowing into the tank or not yes or no so can i say this the volume of water flowing flowing uh, into time is equals to the volume of water in system yes or no volume of water in system yes or no cistern 
right? So it says that volume of the water flowing, like how much water is flowing through pipe. I'll write this as through pipe. Right. So it is equals to how much beta? It's equals to what volume? This is the height. This one is the height. So it is what? Um, it's like pi. Radius is how much? 1 by 10 into 1 by 10. Right. And height is how much beta? The height in one minute is how much beta? 3000 divided by 60. Right. Meter into time is equals to what? Volume of a system, which is also what? Cylindrical? Yes or no? So that is what? Pi. R square means what 25 into what P is what 2, right? So you see that this pi and this pi cancel, this 0, this 0 cancel, this 0, this 0 cancel, this and this cancel, this and 1, 2, right? So T is equals to what beta? 25 into 4. So T is equals to how much beta? 100 minute, which is equals to what? T is equals to what? 100 divided by 60 hour, right or not? Which is equals to what? 5 by 3. Hour. So T is equals to what beta? 5 by 3 hour is equals to answer. It means what 5 by 3 or 100 minutes, like 1 hour in 40 minutes, it will be like flowing this much amount of the water in the system, right? So uh, we see this. Uh, so in the, this class, so you do the practice, both the questions are same and uh, your answer is also written. So class, if you have any doubt, please, uh, first, I want to discuss that what we have discussed in today's lecture, we have discussed about what is a prism, what is a pyramid, and we have done the questions on it. What are the slant height in a pyramid? Slant height is basically the perpendicular. The, these are the perpendicular, which are drawn on the what side of a triangle and joining the midpoint of the, like the base, right? And what is the height? Height is a perpendicular draw from the apex to the base right and when you are going to join the base uh, like the where you have to <clears throat> and you will see that there will be a right angle triangle will be formed with the slant height and with the height and with the base right with the base we have done that and we have done the questions on that and we have done the questions on the embankment that is a water flow and the embankment both the questions we have done and if you have any doubt please ask with your respective teacher in the class and you can ask on the pdf thank you class so much welcome all and bye bye stay safe and enjoy bye bye